Good morning and once again thanks you know, for joining us in our morning prayers here. Um, my name is Frankie MacDonald, lots of you will know me um, and I work with the Oblates in, in Lourdes uh, during the time of pilgrimage in September. Unfortunately we've not been able to physically go there for the last couple of years but hopefully next year it may be different. Please God it is anyway. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, help us prepare a way. Help us make your path straight, so that all mankind shall see your salvation. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St Luke. When John's messengers had gone, Jesus began to talk to the people about John. What did you go out in the wilderness to see? A reed swaying in the breeze? No. Then what did you go out in the wilderness to see? A man dressed in fine clothes? Oh no. Those who dress in fine clothes, live luxuriously and can be found at court. So what then did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and much more than a prophet, he is the one whom scripture says of. See, I am going to send my messenger before you. He will prepare the way before you. I tell you, of all the children born of women, there is no one greater than John, and yet the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he is. All the people who heard him, and the tax collectors too, acknowledged God's plan by accepting baptism from John. But by refusing baptism from him, the Pharisees and the lawyers had thwarted what God had in mind for them. The Gospel of the Lord. Christmas time's a great time, especially if you're a child, and like many of us still, children at heart. I remember Christmas and my early Christmases so, so, so well. I was the youngest in a big family and all my brothers and sisters and my mum and dad and my aunties and uncles used to give me a wee, a wee gift every year. And it was fantastic opening them up and, and just knowing, having that sense that the gift conveyed to you, not the contents, not the enormity of the gift and not the expense. You know, the smaller the better. The the you know, the wee you know things, the wee books or pens or you know, drawing material or whatever it was. I was just absolutely over the moon. And I think of all of those things that, that I received and they pale, they pale into insignificance when you think of the gifts that God has for us. And you can't imagine it. And I always think there's a, there's a fabulous hymn by a guy called Marty Hagen and I love the tune of it and I love the, the words. The words, you know, are eye has not seen, ear has not heard what God has ready for those who love him. And it's just a great tune. If you get a chance, try and listen to it. And it reminds us that all of those people that we love that are gone before us are now with God and enjoying their eternal reward. And so let's bring them to mind this, this day as we prepare for Christmas. And remember them as they were and how much we loved them. 
Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace, and may their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Before we go our separate ways, let's remember all those who are sick in either hospitals or at home, Our Lady of Lourdes, help of the sick, pray for them. Let's remember too all the oblates throughout the world, St Eugene de Mazano, pray for them. And again at this time, thinking in that gospel, help us to know, Lord, how to make your paths straight by the way we lead our lives. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>